I'm here at Outfest to present my film Label Me, which deals with a Syrian refugee and his special relationship to a German. That's amazing. How, where did that story come from for you? How, what? how did you get, um, where did that story originate from? Um, in Germany I work with LGBT refugees and uh, LGBT youth and that's when I uh, stumbled across the issues that LGBT refugees in Germany have, especially in their shelters when it comes to their identity. And how, if someone's not at Outfest, how can they find info about your film? Um, if you want to find something out about the film, you can just go to my website, kaikreuser.com slash labelme2019 and there you can find every information about the film that we have. It sounds so interesting. I can't wait to see it. And congratulations. For Thank you very Outfest. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. I love that. I love that. Let me interview you. Who are you? I'm, with, I'm not with Grindr. Oh, no. oh, that's a dating website. I know. I'm like, it's interesting. I'm with Muse But TV. I don't even know how to get on Grindr. I think, you know, it's fairly for an event only, but you go on you. I hear about it. Yeah, I hear about it. I could be their new weirdly spokesperson, I guess, because I'm with Grindr now. But Muse TV is our outlet. I'm Jennifer. Hi. I'm, I grew up in Los Angeles, so I know what an important legacy circus of books has left. And I'm so glad this documentary is out. Um, and it's got such great, it was at Tribeca. And tell us a little bit, I just want everybody to know that doesn't know that's not in LA about circus of books and why it's so important. Well, I never thought it was important. It was just a business that we ran. And we just ran it for a lot of years. We didn't start it. And the film says a lot of why it's important. I, I mean, the film takes what we did and puts it into a context that we never ever considered. We were just being good business people over all those years. I know what an like, impact it did make on people's lives. By the way, I love every interview I see of you. I think I just love watching you. I want you to have like your own little show. That could be Rachel's next project. Well, what Rachel says about me is I have no filter. So that that's what I love. Be. When I'm watching, I'm like, I love it. Well, because I was a journalist, but in print. So in print, everything can be edited. This live stuff is complicated. Yeah, well, we could. You know. So make me young and thin. Absolutely. Okay. And how was I mean, I'm so glad that your daughter did this, by the way. And how was I was working with your daughter, though? Because it's. Well, That's a I mean, it's doing. all in the film. I mean, you can yeah. see. I was. I, the, I like documentary film, but the only reason I agreed to do it is because most documentary films are not seen, and I assumed this one wouldn't be either. And, and you were wrong about that. that. <laughs> turns out that this is a big time for documentary film. Oh yes, so, it is. And so, and that's good. I mean, for documentary film in general. I wish it was about somebody else. You know, I don't. I'm yeah. so glad it's about well, you guys. Not, you're working for Grinder, which is. A, I know my new job at Grinder is very interesting. <laughs> well, I mean, it's very complicated to live a long life and figure out what you're doing. But I didn't. Ex I didn't think it was all of this. I, the movie's very good, by the way. I, I, oh, I, I agree with that. Yeah. I can't wait. But I w just wish it was about somebody else. Well, I'm glad it's about you because I think it's a part of Los Angeles history that will touch people universally. Well, just a lesson to people to never figure out what their kids are going to do because <laughs> they might make a documentary about you. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I'm Rika Aoki. I'm one of the writers and stars of Transfinit. I'm Neelu Booman. I'm the writer and director of Transfinit, writer of one of the seven short films, Nova. I am Blossom C. Brown. I'm an actress in Transfinit. Hi, I'm Davia Spain. I'm a writer of two shorts in Transfinit and an actor of one. I love that, this, that you have seven shorts. What, how did you bring them all together and um, figure out to do like ones that would go together cohesively? Well, the, the, my favorite word to describe this process is organic. It was very community oriented. I, once I had the idea to make the film, I reached out to my dear, dear friend D. Lowe, who has been doing the work in the community for over two decades now, and all through the West Coast. And I was like, I need to find six other trans people of color writers. Once I had the writers fall in place, I had a wonderful trans woman of color, 
DP who signed up to the project and a trans man of color, Stefano Gonzalez, who signed up immediately. There was there was such a, um, an enthusiasm to have a platform like this to give, to create as part of a team. Um, once pieces started falling together, it was actually a very smooth sail through the process. And bringing, making it cohesive, it was really, I'm a designer and an engineer in my other life. Yes, so I'm like, and I want animation, and I want visual effects. So it's, it, it, it just happened magically. Hopefully Outfest will help get us distribution. <laughs> Distribution, yeah, yeah, that's what we want, is like enough visibility here at the screening so that we get picked up for distribution. Yeah, yes, and Davia was amazing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, writers back here, I'm like, just to write one, and I'm like, you too! Well, right, yeah. well, I wrote one, yes, there's things in the work for the future, but I wrote one and then uh, Nilu asked me to come on on another one, so I was more than happy to do that because my experience with the first one was so good that I was ready to write a second one. Obviously, and Blossom, which one are you in? So, uh, what episode is that? What was that? Nova. Nova, okay. I, could, I was like, which, I'm thinking like, which episode was it? Like, no. Yeah, so I was in Nova, so I played Daya, and it was such a great character to play. Um, this is actually my first film that I've ever acted in. You know, coming from like reality TV and stuff like that, and making a transition over to this. Um, it was really, really incredible because I got to be around such great talent. I got to learn a lot. Um, and so hopefully this will be the door for more great opportunities. You know, I'm motivated, I'm inspired, and so, you know, this is a very important project because people really need to see that. People really need to see us in our true selves. Yeah. They need to see the issues that we go through. And I think this film laid all that foundation for that. And I'm just so grateful to be a part of an amazing cast, to be under such great direction from Nilu. Like, I'm just humble and grateful. So humble and grateful. I'm going to say your name wrong. Rika, right? Uh -huh. I remember Rika because one of my good friends is Rika. Oh. Like, it's not a common name. It's a good name. Tell us a little bit about your role. So, my um, my statement is called Asura, and I play a Kung, uh, martial arts superhuman grandmother. Oh my god, I love yeah. that. So, so we, they made me, they look, they made, did, did a beautiful job of making me look older. And it was so nice because a lot of times as a trans queer, we, well, as a trans woman, you don't think of getting old. You, you, a lot of us just die because we do. And so you, you ask what my superpower is, sometimes it's just being a grandmother and being able to provide wisdom towards, uh, towards the next generation. And a lot of us, a lot of us, that's kind of all we want to do too. We want to be able to pass things on. So you know, we were just joking. We're three trans women of color in the same movie. None of us died. It was amazing. And I'm so glad that it is trans women of color because we need more of that. And, and I hope this is just the beginning of many things for all of you, which I believe it will. This is a good group here. This is a good group, and I'm excited. I've already heard a lot from Justin about this project, and I've been excited. You gotta to see come see it. Oh, I am. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, he'll fall, he'll track me down. I already I have. I told him in my book it says really big on this that Saturday. Justin, so I'm, I remember to go to. It's superheroes in a way you've never seen them. Yes. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. So lovely to Ugly you. outfit and the glasses. <laughs> and Thank you. I appreciate Thank it. You. I love it. I will say I had like red sunglasses on the other day. And they were too red. I was like, this is too intense. <laughs> it's too intense. <laughs> and I'm Jennifer. This is Brianna. Hi. Yeah. So nice good to meet you guys. You. Can you introduce yourself? Um, and why you're here this year at Outfest. Absolutely. My name is Rodrigo Bellet. I'm from Bolivia. And I'm here uh, for the world premiere of my film, To My Monk. It's a film based on my first novel who became that became the uh, best-selling story because there we have no gay, and lesbian, or LGBTQ uh, literature there. And it's about gay suicide in my country. And so it's a, it's a book that already changed and touched a lot of lives. So we're hoping the movie is going to have the same effect. I want to see the movie, but read the book yet. As well, <laughs> the, movie, the book is in Spanish, unfortunately. So, do uh, <laughs> you speak Spanish? Or? Uh, David, un poquito. David, you have to translate a book for us. So, but we, we, the, 
the book is only sold in, uh, we actually just got an offer from Amazon to sell it in Spanish, but hopefully uh, we are negotiating, it's going to be a Broadway show next year. So hopefully after that it's going to be a, an English version of the book. Well, guess what, I'll be at the Broadway show because my mother is obsessed with Broadway. Oh every God. single show we go to. So am I. Oh yeah, no, I was brought up on it, so literally every show Thank you. we're there. Happy That's that amazing, and I love the, I love just the, that you did it, because yeah, you don't hear about the LGBT community in Bolivia ever. And if there's a suicide epidemic, like that's something that really touches my heart. It's in every country, yeah. but we're not talking about it. And that's why I, I took this big journey of five years and saying, okay, I'm gonna take something, do something, right? How can we find you on social media so if people want to know more about? Uh, we have a, a, your study already campaign for the movie. It's called Pelicula to Me Monk. Uh, and uh, I'm Bolivian Bold. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, you're, you're um, <laughs> so you can find me as Bolivian Bold on Instagram and Pelicula to Me Monk on Facebook and on Instagram.